I'm very excited because I get to show you how to cook the crispiest, sweetest potatoes that you'll ever find, just perfect for that roast dinner. But first, you've got to find them. There's one, there's two, I wonder if there's any more. But don't go anywhere because you are going to see something you're not going to believe. Crispy potatoes. Crispy. Now, these are the ones you dug up. I've washed them. Right, beautiful. You now, fond of potatoes? I love potatoes, and I really want to know the secret to how to make the most perfect roast potato. And it's just got to be beautiful and crispy on the outside, but nice and soft on the yes. inside. I need to know. We can do that. Now, I always parboil a potato, mm. and the reason you parboil them is to get them partially cooked. Right. Put them into a pot of boiling water yep. um, that's got quite a bit of salt in it and you'll be able to see when it's ready if you can just push a fork through it without it breaking up. Right. They're good enough to eat, really, as you, they are. You can but eat them like that, but we you want could. them crisp. No, we, we want them very crisp. That's the secret. Rendered duck fat. That's it. Really? Really. What do you yeah. do with that? You coat the potato that's been parboiled with it mm. and in the cooking process it crisps them beautifully and adds a wonderful flavour. Oh. Which is very compatible with turkey and so that's corn. the secret. That's why I, I haven't think been so. able to do it. It's all because of that. Say that well, ten I times. Well, I reckon duck fat, duck fat, duck fat, duck fat, duck. I'm going to tip some of that into the dish like so. Oh, looks like Vaseline. Come in here, my roast potatoes. So that's a super it's virtually yep. done. But now we now, just crisp them. The reason you cook it oh. is that the oh, surface so becomes fluffy, and that fluffiness mm -hmm. will absorb quite a lot of fat. This means that they're going to take in a lot more of the fat right. and crisp up beautifully. Mm -hmm. You do then have to put them in at a fairly high temperature. I'd be heading for about 200 degrees. Right. And... How long are we looking? Oh, what do you 10 minutes. Is that it? Yep, at a very high temperature. See, this you can is go, where I go wrong. Very, yes, yeah, some more not. Murray River salt. And you could put a grind of pepper on if you like. Don't be shy, you can add more. Don't be shy, okay. No, a bit more to that. Potatoes are quite good with salt. Yeah. Well, I think they're ready to go in the oven. Which no oven worries. would you like? That one uh, over there? Yeah, we'll do this one. There we go. And straight in. What I've done here, Tonya, I've preheated the oven at oh, 200. All right. And I only leave it in the duck fat for about 10 minutes. Yes. And that just gives the crispiness that we're looking for. And then for. you're going to get your egg flip and flip them over. I'm going to get you're going flip. to use one of these right. to go yep. tipping them around. And that'll just give the other side the nice crispness that we're looking for. Yes. And the crispness. It works well at Christmas. Crispy Christmas! <laughs> Christmas. Tonya, thank you so much for allowing me into your home. It's a pleasure. Merry Christmas. Oh, to you too. Bon appetit. Indeed. And oh! We better do this before we go. Oh, I got what did a, you get? A pink hat. A pink hat. <laughs> oh, what's your riddle? Oh, here we go. What do you call a man with a spade on his head? Doug. Irish? What? Doug. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry oh, Christmas. How good is this? <laughs>